Okay, guys. Now we are going to talk about the mobility of phospholipid molecules in a lipid bilayer. So, as we know, in case uh, after the demonstration of the fluid mosaic model by Singer and Nicholson, uh, it has been presented that this uh, phospholipid molecules are not stable, or they are not stacking in a particular state. They are motile. They can they can travel from one place to another place or even they can rotate uh, around their own axis and all these things these things are called the membrane lipid motility so the, what are the different kinds of motility that can be observed in case of a cell membrane so if we look at the cell membrane structure so this is a cell membrane a bilayer of membrane so these are uh, the phospholipid uh, th this is a one layer single layer and this is another layer and these two layers are interacting with each other via the hydrophobic interaction between the fatty acid chains which are the leg of these phospholipids and this is the phosphate head uh, of those lipids which are hydrophilic in nature which love to interact with water as you can see in this picture so they interact with lots of water molecules outside but the in inside region there is no you cannot find a single water molecule because it is highly restricted water region okay so this is a hydrophobic region so in this case uh, so you have to keep these things in your mind that inside portion all these things are hydrophobic so no hydrophilic molecule can enter but in outer side each of the side hydrophilic molecules can be present but hydrophobic molecule cannot be present so keep these things in your mind then you can see what kind of rotation uh, can be observed so we we can see here it is a schematic representation in this representation we can see a basic type of uh, movement which is called the lateral diffusion so what do we mean by lateral diffusion for example if we take this is this as a this as b so this a uh, can transfer from here to here b can transfer from here to here and not only a and b but all these phospholipid molecules can transfer from one place to another place via this lateral movement lateral movement means uh, after the movement its head remains where the head uh, supposed to be and its leg remains where the its leg supposed to be so it it do not uh, actually disrupt our concept of phospho uh, of uh, of here the hydrophobic and hydrophilic nature so hydrophilic is substituting hydrophilic region hydrophobic region substituting hydrophobic region so this type of movement can easily be seen and actually this type of movement is most abundant movement that can be found in a cell membrane okay and that can easily be obtained that can easily be seen in rapidly uh, most of the time so it it can be uh, seen in uh, many times per second actually so i don't remember the exact value but many times per second okay almost 10 to the power 2 or more than that times per second so it is really really a uh, fast movement now let's talk about another movement which is called the rotational movement in this kind of movement there is uh, no change of its particular position so where uh, suppose this is a, uh, mole uh, a uh, phospholipid this molecule cannot uh, leave its place and go to another place but still it has a movement and the movement is based on its own axis so if we imagine its own axis so it can rotate around its own axis and finally reorient itself so it's simply a reorientation that is called the rotational movement this kind of movement is also very common uh, and can easily be seen but now let's talk about the third and unusual kind of movement this is called the flip flop movement so what do you mean by this flip flop movement is that here is a, suppose this is the a, a phospholipid and this is the b phos b phospholipid so this a phospholipid come from one leaflet of uh, the bi uh, one layer of uh, of the cell membrane to another layer of the cell membrane or another uh, leaflet of the cell membrane so it is not only changing the position but it also changing the leaflet of a membrane why it is rare and why it is not shown because this is really really difficult in nature remember hydrophilic and hydrophobic barrier as we know that the hydrophilic molecule cannot enter in the hydrophobic region and hydrophobic molecule cannot enter the hydrophilic region but in this case if this a phospholipid has to enter into the position of b phospholipid it has to travel this whole hydrophobic region so this uh, so for for this hydrophobic tail it is not a problem but for this hydrophilic head it's a major big problem so how can it they establish this though they can establish this using different proteins on or any different uh, unusual situations but it has been shown very very rare cases so this is this can be shown only a few times a year so that means it's a very 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 rare case so but still this kind of movement can be done 
can be seen can be seen easily so one place here to the other place but the, but the actual thing is, is remains the same that means hydrophilic is uh, substituting hydrophilic hydrophobic is substituting hydrophobic region but uh, it has to this hydrophilic head has to carry uh, carry uh, through carry out through this hydrophobic region what makes this uh, model a little bit more difficult but still this kind of movement can be observed and what is flexi flexion flexion is a very easy kind of so it is not another movement so that doesn't mean movement but this this is a, a, a symptom of a movement so if you have to move from one place to another place you need to uh, rotate your arm you need to rotate your legs so if you if you do not rotate your leg if you do not forward your leg and take it backward forward then you cannot move from one place to another the same thing happens here because if we consider it is a, 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 a him as a guy you have a head and two legs then these legs are sometimes become flexed so this flexage is called the flexion so this leg is gay going twang 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 like this so this is called the flexion movement so this is a not a movement from uh, changing a place but uh, this is a simple kind of exercise you can say so cellular uh, cell membrane phospholipid exercise okay so that's the different kinds of movement can be seen and i hope that's can help you thank you